This motion graphics text animation is done entirely using After Effects and it's very easy to create. So let's see how to make this. Alright, so right now I'm in After Effects and we will begin by creating a new composition. Let's call this one main width and height will be 1920 by 1080 frame rate 30 fps and duration you can pick whatever you want. Just click on OK. First we will add our background. So for that you can right click. Let's add a solid and let's make it like a little bit off white color. Just click on OK like that. Now we are going to lock this so that we don't accidentally select this. First we are going to create our ball. So for that you can select the ellipse tool. After that just click and drag to create a circle like this. Now I'm going to like change its fill to something like that. And stroke we can set this to zero for this one. Now we can select this. Let's align it to the center. So for that you can use the align panel. If you're not able to see it then you can go to windows and from here you can enable it. After that let's add a scaling animation. Scale it like this and now we are going to animate its position so press p let's add a keyframe in the beginning let's move it down below let's move somewhere around here i'm going to like move this to like this point and after that let's move it to the center of this composition like that now we can select everything press f9 to easy is the keyframe let's go to the graph editor now if your graph looks different make sure you're using the speed graph not the value graph Let's zoom in and I'm going to tweak the curves to look like this. So let's just change the curves something like that. So if I press play, you can see we have this ball animation. Now we can animate it scale as well. So let's add a keyframe over here. Let's like go to this point and we can like increase the scale and somewhere around here we can like keep it to this one. So copy just so copy and paste now select the keyframes again press f9 let's go to the graph and i'm going to like change it to look like this so that we have this very sharp or the fast movement at the middle somewhere around here so now if i press play you can see we have this ball perfect now we can like go over here and we can like trim this comb or this layer so like that now we are ready to add our text so for that you can select the text tool now Let's hide this one and we can like start animating. So let's type our text. So I'm going to type motion and I'm using this Montserrat bold font. It's completely up to you. you can pick whatever you want. Let's just quickly change this color. So let's search for fill and let's drag it onto this. I'm going to like make it dark just like we did with this one with the ball. So I'm going to like copy this and just paste it on the, onto this ball as well. So just to keep things like matching. Now let's align it to the center. Let's make it anchor point in the center by double clicking on this while holding the control key. Here we have our text. Now I'm going to select this. Let's press control D to duplicate this. And on the bottom one, I'm going to like change this color to red because this will act as the reference layer. Now we can lock this so that we don't actually move it now we can like select this layer and instead of like all the characters at once we can like individually type them so let's type m on this one we are going to basically type all the characters on individual layers so m o let's duplicate this let's type t so here we have everything now we can select these let's go to let's press p for position now let's go to somewhere around two seconds let's move these layers as well first i'm going to like add keyframes for all of these now let's move to somewhere around three seconds and we're going to like randomly move them here and there. So let's just move the end to this point and this O will we can like send it over here. This I we can like place it over here. This O we can like move it to this point as well and the T we can like place it over here. This one we can move this side and this we can like move it to this place. So before we proceed, if you enjoy my work and you want to support me, then you can check out my Patreon page. Over there you will get access to the tutorial project files and exclusive templates that are available only on Patreon. Make sure to check it out. Link for that is in the description. Now let's continue. Perfect. So after that we can like start animating them and like move them to their respective position. But for that we are going to like do them in like straight lines so instead of like moving the o directly over here i'm going to like move it to the left side then like go down so for that we can go to the four second mark and here we have the end so instead of moving it directly we can like move it down and in the next stroke like somewhere around here we can like move it to this end now you don't have to be like very precise so just move it and we can like make it straight just by moving this perfect now we can do the same thing with this O as well. So let's select this and at this point we can like move it to this one. 
like that and somewhere around here we can like make it to here as well like this now just try to keep these lines straight so let's move it to this side perfect let's do the same thing with the other characters as well so let's do this with o now we are not going to move the t just like the other characters instead we are going to like overshoot it so that we can have like little bit of motion to reveal the second text as well so for your text you can pick like any character and you can just animate it like this how we are going to do with the t so for the t we can like move it to this side somewhere around here and like at this point we can like move it down but we are going to like overshoot it like this after that we can like again move to one second and we can like move it back over here perfect so here we have this so all the characters will go away and after that they will come back perfect now we can select all the keyframes let's press f9 to ease them let's go to the graph editor now we are going to like change the graph to look like this so in the beginning we want them to be very fast so let's move the curves to like this perfect so these will like come out like that and after that we can like select these and we can tweak it to look like that so now if i press play we have these characters and they will start moving in and after that we will have t perfect but you can see that this is very slow so for in order to fix them we can like select them and let's hold on the alt key or option key on mac let's just move the keyframes closer now we want this part to be like very fast so let's move them more closer like that just remember to hold on the alt key or option key on mac and just click and drag the last keyframe now they will like go away and after that they will like do this we can add some null object and let's animate it and let's add our other text as well so for that right click new let's add null object and let's select all of these layers and let's parent it to the null now we can select this null press p for position let's select the t let's press p so we are basically moving the text with the null so as we have it over here so we can add a keyframe like this point and after that we can like move it to somewhere around here then we can like have it go back let's set this back to 540 so here we have this text and it will go back but instead of 540 we want this to like go a little bit more up because we are adding our second text as well so let's uncheck this and i'm going to type our second text so let's type graphics now we can like quickly align it over here so you can see that the final position of our text will be somewhere around here now on this one we can delete the motion text just let's keep the graphics and let's just copy this fill and paste it onto this graphic to change the color now let's animate this graphic text as well so somewhere around here we can like have it come up so let's add a keyframe for position like this but we want this to be like little bit let's move this keyframe a little bit ahead and in the beginning we can like move this forward so that it will come up like that now we can select these press f9 and again we can change the graph to look like this like that now we can do the same thing with these layers as well like this now now if i press play you can see we have this but we don't want this like graphics to be visible throughout so we can like trim the layer somewhere around here so here everything will come up and after that we will have this but we can like have a little bit of more delay something around here now again you can play around with the timing of these keyframes this is completely up to you let's go to the graph and i'm going to like probably make it look like this perfect so here you can see we have our reveal now we can align all of these with the ball so let's select this let's open it up so at this point we just want these layers to be like right over here now let's select this press u and you can see that at this point we can like get rid of this extra frame like that so 
uh, ball will come up and after that we will have all of these characters and then we will have this i think we have moved this we forgot to move this as well so let's just place it over here perfect so if i press play you can see we have this ball coming up and after that we have this text forming up so this is how you can create these kind of motion graphics text reveal animations and the project files for this tutorial is available on patreon so if you are supporting me over there then you can download it from there and if you are not then you might consider it because you will get access to the tutorial project files and exclusive templates that are available only on patreon so with that being said my name is abhishek and i'll see you in the next one